gloomy day out here in LA. I'm actually headed to Cleveland tonight. Screen's a little. <sighs> Game four of the NBA Finals, thanks to Seat Geek, we are taking the contest winner, Jose, and his little brother to go to the game with us. It's gonna be a crazy experience. Will they sweep? We will find out. And I got a little excited because of the situation. As you guys know, I'm from the Bay Area. I was born and raised in the Bay Area. So the Warriors are my hometown team. Kobe Bryant is still my favorite player of all time, but my favorite team of all time is the Warriors. Since I was a little excited, I made a few phone calls. I hit up Farouk and I said, yo, let's give the people something to celebrate. It's been a minute since we've done this, but I was like, you know what? The crew deserves it. For the next 48 hours, that's two days only, starting right now, we are releasing these online right now link is in the description these are the camo all of a sudden shirts on the back all of a sudden inspired by anti-social these are freaking dope we've been selling these at the past few sneaker con but I was like you know what these are our most popular items so let's throw these online for 48 hours only after 48 hours we're never gonna sell these again so if you want one get it right now and I'm also releasing I know a lot of people are gonna go crazy over this because this was like the most requested shirt to drop online I'm releasing it in a different version the Mel Rose t-shirt. I released these at the Live in the Hype shirt uh, event that we had. They were a long sleeve, but now I'm releasing them for the summertime in a short sleeve. So both of these shirts will only be available for 48 hours. You can pre-order it right now. After 48 hours, they will be gone forever. So link is in the description box down below. Worldwide shipping. I know everybody's been asking for merch, so here it is. Link in bio. What does the rest of the day hold for me? I'm actually going to spend a lot of time at home getting ready to leave to Cleveland as well as getting rid of a rid of a lot of old clothing. I'm trying to just get rid of stuff I don't wear. But until then, I think it's time. We starting this one early. Need my backpack and maybe my phone. I guess I'll take my bike too. All right, now hit it. What's in the box? Can we zoom in a little bit more? Much better. I have a few boxes to open up for you guys. I got this first package from Champ Sports. They told me that they were sending these over. I personally, I know what they are, but I wasn't interested to buy them. I'm gonna see how they look in person and give you guys my honest opinion. Jump man. Got the Champs card up in there. Bada boom. We got the Air Jordan 13 low. I think these are called the Chutneys. The question here is would I buy these? And to be honest with you guys, I probably would not pick these up. 13 low is kind of like, I feel like they kind of, what's, what, how do, who I, how do I say this? It's half the shoe that everyone loves. There's no hologram that the 13 is known for. Quality wise, they did a really good job here on this upper, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it like literally color as you move it in different direction. Now you know Champs has it, and Champs is getting it. So shout out to Champs for sending me these. Kinda matches my championship belt, huh? Very nice. Pretty obvious where I got these from because it's literally blasted on the side right there. Let's see what they say. Let me, let's, let's see what is now this is a collaboration between stance and new balance open them at the same time first thing I see here are two pairs of socks one in each box BAM oh my quality on these are bad bad in a good way so this definitely 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 has a different vibe to what I am used to it's to what you guys are used to so this one right here is the 997 the quality is crazy they did a fantastic job I like this one more I love this one more very very smooth neutral colors here it looks like this one is very very comfortable so I'm definitely gonna be rocking with this one and now you know what was inside the box Shababa Lebuki why didn't I disappear I thought we had the special there's no one here Okay, I'm leaving. So at SneakerCon, I was flying my drone above the court during the warm-ups of the rookie game, and somehow, somebody shot the ball, and it hit my drone. But luckily, somehow, some way, this bad boy spun around a few times and stayed in the air, and nothing broke. It did get a little blurry towards the end of that spinning scenario, but um, I think it should work. I'm gonna test it out right now. I haven't flown it since then, so hopefully nothing is wrong. Hopefully.
So the drone works. I'm gonna head home now, freshen up, and I wanna do something that I did a few weeks ago. I think it was like two weeks ago. I went through Yeezy Busta's Instagram, showed you guys some YouTubers who got fake Yeezys, and it did extremely well. And I wanted to do it again, and I was like, how can I top the last one? Well, celebrities. So we are going to see which celebrities try to pull a fast one and rock some fake Yeezys. So let's go see which celebrities got on some Feezys right now. <laughs> no, but really, all right, so look, merch is available now, dreamcrew.com. So we're on Yeezy Bus's Instagram. I'm not here to expose any of them. Yeezy Bus does that job. I'm just here to kind of like, just look through it and see my reaction to some celebrities that have uh, fake Yeezys. Like I said last time, it's kind of to show you guys that even people who have tons of money or who have great connections, they still can get scammed for fake Yeezys. First person I see is Mini Me, Vern Troyer, I believe is how you say his name. He has real Yeezys and the re reason why I know that is just because he said he got them sent to him by Kanye and Kim. So. He passes. I don't know who this is, but I think she's like an IG model or something. She got 4.4 million, but she got on some fake turtle dubs. Daddy Yankee, Daddy Yankee is 100% authentic. Okay, here's our first one. This is Rich the Kid. Now, I don't really know Rich the Kid, but I know he's a rapper. Now, I can kind of see it here. The, the bottom, the midsole looks way off. Pattern just looks too busy. Okay, so this guy right here, this is the this is the guy from That's So Raven. He was the little brother, but this dude got on some fake 750s. Man, these things look like Akon, Akon in some all white Yeezy 350s, not V2s, but the regular 350s. Now, how, how? I don't understand how. A lot of people are probably thinking, well, it's Akon. He probably knows Kanye. He probably knows people who know Kanye. He probably got a sample. But Yeezy Busta, I trust him. He would only post something unless he was 100% sure these were fake. Quavo. Quavo gets the go-ahead bucket. Um, he's good. He did not get scammed. Okay, so this is, I know I said I'm only gonna stick to like celebrities, but this this lady is huge. She has 15 million. She got played for some fake turtle doves. She shouted out the company that gave her the turtle doves, and they just, I mean, she gave a shout out to a company selling fake sneakers, which is worse than just showing that you have fake sneakers, is shouting out a company that gave you fake sneakers. So not only did she get scammed, but she, gave her a cosign to trust a account selling fake sneakers. That means she probably just got paid and she really didn't do her research to figure out that they were selling fake sneakers. But do not buy from this soldier boy. And um, Soldier Boy is seen right here. Ultimate Fagazi flexor. Soldier Boy caught wearing feezies on his Snapchat. And I managed to snap this pic before it took it down. Switch shoes and repost it. LMAO. Wow. Those. Like, bruh, where is the bottom of the shoe? French Montana? Bruh, how does French Montana get played for? He's friends with Kanye. Kanye gave him those all white Yeezys. He personally gave him all white V2s, I believe they were V2s, but he works with Kanye. He's made music with Kanye. They used to date, he used to date, he, he's married to Kim, he used to date Chloe. How do you get fake? Those look like flea market Yeezys. Like what, those look like the light up Yeezys, how? How does that happen, French freaking Montana? Oh my god. Who's this? Zach Efron? Oh my god, bruh. This he must have been clu clueless buying these. He probably thought these were the customs from that 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 uh Diddy wore on stage. And the way he's looking down at them like, oh yeah. Yeezys. Oh yeah, look guys, guys. Somebody actually thought I was wearing fakes, but nope, that's me. I got approved. Yeezy Busta knows what's up. Surprised as how many people DM me this picture. These are 100% legit. Kai Somar and the crew don't mess around. <laughs> Verified, baby. Always, that's how we do it, bruh. Okay, I know this, this girl is huge. I know her from a few movies. Ah, that looks like the camo edition. Matches my shirt. That's link in bio if you guys want to purchase it right now, actually. If you want to go get it, it's available now. Uh, but yeah, she got some... Yeah, she Snapchatted some fakes. That's really bad. She probably has no knowledge whatsoever on Yeezy. So, yeah, she got played. Cameron Dallas. Now, we'll say Cameron Dallas is a celebrity because he does movies and stuff now. But when will these Vine guys get a real pair? Cameron Dallas wearing some feezies. Damn. 
Cameron Dallas is making a lot of money there, and I know he's got some connections. Why did he get played? I do not know. Tiesto is a huge DJ, as you guys can see. Homeboy got played for some pencil line Yeezy 350s. This is some, it looks like somebody really drew the lines on with a damn pencil. So, like I said last time, there is a point to why I did this. That is because it's just to show you guys to be careful when it comes to buying Yeezys. It's, it's unfortunate that even in 2017, even stores that are well trusted could possibly get played and sell a pair of fakes. It's very rare that that would happen, but you really wanna be careful and make sure you're buying from a trusted a trusted source. I wanna just say, I, I do this because I don't want any of my followers or subscribers to get played. I don't want you guys to waste your money on something that's not authentic. If you like to wear fakes and you're okay with it, that doesn't mean I don't respect you, that doesn't mean I look at you, well, I said that last time and I do look at you funny, but it doesn't mean I don't respect you, it just means that you got played and you're trying to, you're trying to, you know, just don't do it. Shout out to Yeezy Busta. I will link him down below. I have been recording for almost 30 minutes now trying to go through his Instagram. I need to start packing because I leave in like four hours. Let's pack, baby. Okay, so I just spent the last like 30 40 minutes cleaning these things and then I realized that I have to leave So they're a little wet and I can't even take them So we go in a little back through on the turtle dove so, Since so many people that I showed today had fake ones anyway We about to head out and also I was gonna take this jersey But then I was like wait like this doesn't really stand out compared to like a blue Warriors jersey, so I'm gonna leave this one here and I'm gonna actually go buy one So I'm gonna go to the mall that's close to the airport and go buy like the original Warriors blue jersey because I don't have one of those. Hopefully I don't get killed in Cleveland See you soon Cleveland just met up with me. We're the only ones going here for the contest and we're about to board our flight. Let's just say there's some Cleveland fans. I don't mess with you guys know I don't like Cleveland at all. You guys know I talk shit. I, even in sneaker con on stage, I was calling them a <laughs> choke. Man, but I hope I hope they lose, but I don't think the NBA is going to allow it. Anyway, we're going to board the flight now, so I'll check in with you guys on the plane. Because we were supposed to board like 40 minutes ago, so I'm tired. Alright guys, so we're on the plane now, but I'm going to put the camera away because we literally don't have room. We're on the last very row, so I'm not going to be able to vlog, but we will see you, see you guys in Cleveland. Merch is for pre-order right now, right? Yes. See you guys in Cleveland. Alright guys, so we just got to the hotel and I'm exhausted. I think I got some kind of allergies because my eyes are like watery and red. Probably just need to get a little bit of sleep. We're gonna end the vlog here. Um, it's like 6 a.m. Don't forget, if you're new to this channel, I will be giving away 10 pairs of Yeezys when we reach 1 million subscribers. If you want to pick up some merch, it's available for the next 48 hours, so make sure you guys hit the link down below or head to dreamcrew.com. Tomorrow's vlog will be in game four of the NBA Finals, and I'm probably gonna get beat up, so it should be fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out. Peace.